Okay, so I've got some virtual machines going onto my system at the moment. I've got a VMware converter running on another machine, which is uploading some VMware workstations. Uh, but what I tend to find is sometimes it's quite handy just to have a, a Linux VM kicking around that you can play with, uh, maybe to run as a DNS or NTP server or just for general mucking about. So what I'm going to do is create a new virtual machine on here and load on Ubuntu. Just a 32-bit just a copy and I'm going to use um, Ubuntu 10 dot something rather than 12 because I, I hate the new desktop. I know you can load on GNOME but I just find it really slow so I'm just going to go with um, probably Ubuntu, Ubuntu 10 for now. Um, so let's just go for a typical configuration and I'll call it um, Ubuntu, uh, what version is it? Actually, I've got here 10.04 is the one I've got. 10.04. Select the data store. So I've only got one data store. I'm going to use that. It's Linux. Select the drop down. What have we got on here? We've got Ubuntu Linux. It's 32 bit, the one I'm installing. Click next. Just a single nick will do. That will do. Um, not sure what adapter. Uh, I think E1000 probably is more compatible. So let's just go with that. Um, let's do it thin provisioned. If you do thin provision, it doesn't take up as much space. Um, 16 gigs is quite a lot, but as I'm going to be using thin provisioning, um, doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, so thin provision just means it won't allocate all the disk space at once. Okay, so that's going to create the VM. There's my VM there. Now, really, what I need to do is attach a um, an ISO image that we can boot. So. Let's edit settings. Uh, there's a CD drive. Okay, yeah, this is your business. I remember now. We have to actually power the um, virtual machine on before you can attach the ISO image. Because uh, I'm not, I've not uploaded the ISO to the. Um, uh, to the data store. So it's got a gig of RAM. It's probably a bit overkill for what I'm going to do, but I can always tweak that later. Okay, yeah, that all looks okay. So let's power it on. Okay, and then we'll need to connect. Let's see uh, an ISO image. ISO image on the local disk. Ah, uh, now I need to. Go to my NAS, so folders, downloads, and it was under, let me see all the stuff I've downloaded now, ISO Ubuntu 10.04, we need to go to the console, I'll probably have to reboot it now, let's have a look, see what state it's in, yep, <clears throat> so uh, what I'll do is send the control alt delete, just put, the, put it down to do that. Now to do Control Alt Delete in VMware, you actually do Control Alt Insert, which is what I just did there. So you can see Ubuntu is already booting from ISO.
Okay, here we go. So, install Ubuntu 10.04. United Kingdom. Yeah. <coughs> United Kingdom. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, I'll just use the defaults. What is your name? My name is Paul. Put in a password. Password to log in. Yep. Install. So off it goes. As simple as that. Okay. So uh, I'll just leave that running. Uh, that'll be finished in a few minutes. <coughs> 